Hey everybody, today we are making made right sandwiches. Now, if you're not from the Midwest, you've probably never heard of these things, let alone have tasted them. They are actually easy, affordable, and delicious. And they start with brown ground beef. Who hasn't made brown ground beef before? I mean, that is the start of tacos. That is the start of sloppy joes. And a butcher named Fred in Iowa started the made right sandwiches. What happened was, he browned his ground beef, he actually steamed it with onions, and then one of his distributors came in, he said, here, taste this. And the distributor said, hey Fred, this sandwich is made right. Now, I brown my ground beef, usually in a pan, I don't steam it, but I cook it with onions, and then I season it with a little salt and pepper, exactly like Fred did. And at the end, before I make what I'm making, I usually take a bowl and eat a bowl of it. Fred took it one step further and put it on a bun. And he put it on a bun with sometimes ketchup, but usually just mustard and pickle. And this thing is delicious. Today we're making the made right and we're taking it to the next level. So we have our brown ground beef. We have our chopped up pickles. We have some American cheese. Usually I like Kojak, but American cheese, why American? Well, America, that's why. And instead of just a bun, we're gonna use sweet Hawaiian rolls. These things have a little bit of sweetness I'm gonna put some mustard on it. If you like ketchup, add those, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this ground beef back on the flame. We're gonna add our cheese, melt it in there, and then we're gonna assemble the sandwich. All right, so we got enough ground beef in here for about four sandwiches. And we're gonna just throw our American cheese on here. We're gonna melt this in. We're gonna let it melt for a minute. And while that's melting, we're gonna get our sandwich ready. All right, so while the ground beef is warming up the cheese. I've already sliced our Hawaiian rolls. Put a little mustard on here, not too much. And again, if you like ketchup, go ahead and put ketchup on here. Fill this up with our diced up pickles. Now normally, I don't like a pickle on a cheeseburger. I know that sounds weird, but they are absolutely delicious on this sandwich. So we got this all ready. Let's go back to our ground beef and our cheese. Get that ready, and then we're gonna finish this off. All right. So let's chop up our cheese here a little bit. It's not gonna melt real good till we mix it in. And now what this is gonna do is actually hold our loose meat together a little bit better because it has a tendency to fall off and crumble in the bun. Almost done, this happens actually really quick here. You just need the cheese to melt. And if it's not melted all the way, it's not that big of a deal because we're putting this in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. All right. Look at that nice and cheesy ground beef. And actually, we're just gonna, we're just gonna try and get this off real nice and organized here. It's a problem. The only problem with ground beef is it doesn't like to hold together very well. So we wanna get every bit of morsel of goodness on here. And we're gonna flip that over. Now look at that, that's not even done yet, but it still looks amazing. All right, so this is all assembled. Let's get this in the oven for about 10 minutes. And we have our oven at 350. We're putting it in for 10 minutes. That's gonna allow all the cheese to just to like get a little more gooey and crisp up the bun a little bit. This is about to be delicious. All right, so there you are. 10 minutes at 350. And we got a nice crispy bun here. And look at how that cheese is just bubbling. All right, so let's take a little cut across here. Cut the bun. Take a look at the middle of this. Oh, it's stuck. All this cheese has got it stuck to the foil. Parchment paper would probably have been a little better. Take a look at that cheesy, gooey goodness right there. I think what we ought to do is cut this one apart here. This is napalm hot right here. You probably should wait longer than I have, but look, oh man. Take a look at that gooiness. It is just falling apart. All right, here goes nothing. Hmm. I feel like I got cheese all over my face, but that is exactly what I expected. Gooey, cheesy, hamburgery goodness right there. That's top notch. That is a made right to the next level. 
So try the loose meat sandwiches. They are the bomb by themselves, but if you want to take it to the next level, mix in some cheese, put it in the oven. This is the bomb. Thanks for watching. Click that thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. I think I'm about to polish these off.